here we go. All right. Hey guys, so actually before we get started with this video, I just want to put out a disclaimer on what I'm about to show you. So normally through Mach 3, people on YouTube have gone over to the settings tab. You can see it here. Settings tab, and then you'll go down to the lower left and do this steps per unit uh, calibration. So that basically allows you, if I select it, you can see, oh, okay, it says, uh, you know, choose the axes, and then after that, you'll say how far you want to go. When I tried to do this, it was not coming out right on here. And so this is where I use the method I'm about to show you uh, in this video. It changes the exact same numbers in the, oh, okay, whatever. If you go up to motor tuning, the exact same numbers you see down here, or the, the steps per, that gets changed when you use this method down here. Using the same exact method, I think, uh, but I'm just doing it manually, doing the calculation and inputting it versus using that button and it automatically just moves it and then you just, type in you know how far you want to move and how far it actually moved and it does the calculation for you but i go through the math i have it documented i show you what i do um if you got any issues or any questions for it about it um let me know i'm, I'm more than happy to to go over it or even just you know hear if you think i did something wrong or maybe if you have a solution to why my mach 3 was acting up but the method i use um got me to where i needed to be because i was doing a time sensitive job and so like anyone else in that position you gotta do what you gotta do to get the job done so this is what i did and uh yeah hope you guys enjoy so on with the video all righty guys so it's it's actually been a little bit since i've been back on the router uh ever since i got this guy in i've been focusing on getting it set up getting cleaned up you know, getting it wired, hooked up, getting the coolant in it, setting up the shop. And so I haven't been on the router in probably almost a year. And I think the last thing I did with this um, was down here, you can see I got the control box. This is back when I updated it. I originally had it all bolted to a piece of plywood uh, with set screws or screws holding it up off the board. Um, but basically, I have a smooth stepper board in there. It's got the Ethernet cable to um, communicate with it. I added the connectors and made it a little bit more fancy or more enclosed, professionally looking. Um, so I did that, and right after that is when the foot all showed up. So I never actually finished setting up everything with this, and so. The reason how I figured that out was I'm actually working on something um, personal and I went to go run it and I figured out, wait, it's not moving the, the right amount when I did a dry run. So in here, and I'll show you guys, if you go in Mach 3 down to motor tuning, this is the part that I didn't do yet. So this is basically how you set up Mach 3 to tell it how much your machine moves when you send it a signal. Basically it has steps per, and this is per whatever unit of measurement that you have, um, whether you have it in inches or you have it in uh, millimeters. So how many, how many steps per the motor does it move that unit of measure? So basically, if, if you knew the steps of your motor and you know the pitch of your lead screw or ball screw, whatever you have for your axes, um, you could probably calculate that. But I don't have all that information, and I think it's probably an easier way to do it experimentally with this. So you got a indicator set up with it touching your machine and whatever axis that you're measuring. For me, this is x-axis, y is you know front to back, and then z is up and down. Um, so I figured this out. Um, I haven't done it on the y-axis or the z-axis yet, but I at least wanted to show you guys 
this setup, uh, also document it for myself. So in the future, if I ever have this issue, I, I know how to fix it. But basically, indicator setup, you have it on something robust where it won't move when you push it with the machine. I have it currently set up at zero. You can see the needle, small needle down there, big needle. It's pretty much zero. Uh, these are also lead screws. So I imagine there's going to be some level of backlash in it. It's not, um, you know, a, a ball screw. So I'm, I'm okay with that because if this is this is a router, it's for woodworking. I don't expect to hold, you know, tenths or even thousands with it. Probably a few thousands is, would be okay for me. Um, so basically, go back to, to Mach 3, you got steps per unit. Um, you get the velocity, so when you're actually moving around, how fast you want to go. And then the acceleration, you know, how, how fast do you want to get up to, you know, moving along. So those, those three parameters are shown for each axis. You, up here you have x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. So you can see my, this is, I actually already did it for the x-axis. You can see I have 6,442 steps per, and I think this was in um, millimeters. I think it's what it is, or it's it, it's one of two measurements. It's, it's either inches or millimeters, but basically where I started off at, and I haven't done it for the Y, so I'll, sh I'll shoot over there, where it automatically said 2,120 uh, for the velocity and acceleration was four. So basically, if you start off here and you don't know, you know what's going on, how I solve this was if I go back to here, I'll close this. Up here you can see your axes and you you know that you can use your your um, arrow keys and the page up and down. Page up and down is for Z. Left and right up and down is for whatever axes you have uh, configured. But basically what I did was with this set it up here you're zeroed then you're going to move it some specified amount. And uh, this is currently in millimeters. So I'm going to say, actually, we'll go over to MDI mode. We'll just input 12.7. Actually, no. Yeah, we'll do that. 12.7. You can see it moved. And it moved all the way around. You can probably see the needle, sorry for the reflection, but you can see it right. Small needle there, big needle there, it's probably a thou, a little over a thou off. So this, this already configured, but if I set it back to the old setting, go to config, go down to motor tuning. So you're gonna have this screen pop up. Let's put in my old values for right now. So I had 2,000 in there before. It was the exact same that I have currently for the X and the Y axis and Z axis. So 2,000, whenever you change this, you wanna go over and you wanna hit uh, save access settings. Do that as you're going along and then after you're done with that, we'll just say okay, we'll go up to here, config, you want to go down to save settings. If you don't do that, well, you're going to lose it after you close and open up Mach 3 again. I've, I know that because I did that. So currently right now, I set the, the steps per revolution um, or distance back to 2000. You can see the number jumped up like crazy. That was, I think, 12.7 because we're in metric mode right now. So if we go back, actually it's, yeah, go back. We're going to set this back up. You can also hear that the motor sounds a lot more coarse. I'm gonna go and try and set it back up to zero. I'm gonna just tap the indicator in. Come on now something heavy to hit it with. Okay, that's close enough. All right, so now we're gonna move it. 
Actually, I'm going to set you guys up on this block right here. So you guys can see it. We're going to move... Per the indicator, we're going to move some specified amount. We'll go a longer distance. We'll go back to 0.5. Ah, uh, we'll say it's close enough. We're a thou off, but... Okay, so we moved a half an inch here, but on the screen, actually, I totally screwed up. Forgot to zero it. So, we're gonna go back. We're doing this live, so no editing. All right. Okay, we are at zero. I'm gonna zero the, I'll show you guys anyway. Go over here. If you click in Mach 3 in this screen right here, just click here and you click, you'll see it, it highlights, changes color, like a slight highlight. So if it's highlighted, you just push zero. There you go, you just set your zero there. And you, you can do that for, you know, any of the other axes that you have. So, I set this zero. I'm going to set you guys back up. All right. Now we're going to move per the indicator. Half an inch. And yes, there is going to be some backlash, but we're going to ignore that right now. So that's, ooh, well, I got lucky right at a half an inch. So half an inch, and we go over here. How much does it think we moved? Almost 41 millimeters. So if we do the math, and I lost my pen. Oh, here's my pen. So we're gonna get a new page. All right, we know that per the Motor configuration, if we go to motor tuning, our steps per are 2,000. So 2,000 got us 40.9956 millimeters, but we actually went 12.7, which is a half an inch. So we do this math, and this is, we get out my, we'll get out the calculator here. Calculator on computer. Please forgive my slow computer that I have hooked up for Mach 3. Um, so 40.9956, divide that by 12. Point Seven, three point two two eight. Okay, so three point two two eight. Well, the the magic formula here is after you do your your theoretical distance divided by your actual distance, that gives you this this, this I'll say factor. You can use that and multiply it back to where your steps were. So if we do 3.228 times our current step count, we get 6,456. All right, so let's, let's plug that back in. Go back over in here. Six, four, five, six. And we're going to go and save these settings. Save. Okay. So now we're going to go back over here. I'm going to set you guys back up. We're going to go back to zero. You can also hear it sounds different. 
Oh, look at that. I got lucky. Jumped right to zero. Maybe a little bit off. All right, so we're gonna do that. Now I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna go to MDI mode. And I'm trusting that everything is not gonna screw up. So we're gonna zero. You can also click the box here. Click this box or type in whatever value you want your current position to be in. And we are going to now go up. G90, absolute mode, gonna rapid X. 12.7. Here we go. Awesome. So we just moved. And look at that. We are right at a half an inch. Maybe a little bit off, but it's a router. Who cares? And there we go. 12.7. That's half an inch. So there we go. Hope you guys uh, learned something. I just wanted to share with that, share that with you guys. Uh, doing some stuff here. I got some other router work that I maybe want to do. I might do some stuff on the foot all. I do want to clean it up a little bit, but uh, hopefully this uh, benefits some of you guys or even just clues you into maybe how to use Mach 3, how to set up your machine, or maybe even if you have a custom machine. Um, multiple axes maybe it's helpful so anyways hope you guys are having a great day and i'll see you guys next time okay so quick update i finished my calculations for the y-axis and the z-axis i wanted to share with you guys what i came up with you can see i just finished up the z-axis uh we're within a few thou maybe a thou good enough for me for a, a wood router um, so just going through it, X axis, as you guys know, 646 or 6,442. Uh, my Y axis steps, uh, per unit was 6,521. And then the Z axis was 6,420. Uh, this, I, I thought they would all be the exact same because all these lead screws were exactly the same as far as I know. And I got the same motors and everything, but per the calculations, uh, they're slightly different. Now they're all really close to each other. Uh, this is what within, easily within 10, 5% of each other. So maybe there's just some slight variation with my setup or maybe even just with each of the nuts that are on there for each axis. But overall, I wrote out the equation for myself too in the future. The steps per that you see in that bottom right or left hand uh, number on the motor tuning screen, that if you if you take that number and then on the machine side, you set up your indicator for whatever axes and you move it some actual number that you can measure. And then you look at the calculated number that you see up there for whatever axis. So you take the calculated number divided by the actual number, that gives you some ratio. If it's not one or maybe close to one, depending on what your actual number is that you measure, if it's within a few thou or whatever range that you want, um, you take that, that number and you multiply it back by that steps per, and that gets you the, the new refined steps per unit that you need and you, just, you can just iterate that a few times if you need to, to get it within uh, spec, I'll say. So anyways, hope that's helpful. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know. Um, I, as, as I always state, I always post more on Instagram. So if you guys don't follow me, follow me there or subscribe here on, on YouTube. But uh, again, hopefully, hopefully you guys uh, learned something. Thanks for following my journey and I'll see you guys next time.